Out in the wild, it's every animal for its own self. From fighting over food and territory to protecting themselves against deadly beasts, animals have their hands full as they try to survive the great outdoors. But even then, sometimes these strong animals fall prey to their own selves. From a pig born with vampire fangs to a sheep being weighed down by 80 pounds of its own wool and honeybees dying after attacking humans, in this video we're taking a look at 10 animals that kill themselves by accident. Number 10. Overgrown Horns Almost Take Bull's Life Bulls are muscular animals that can come with thick bones and high levels of testosterone which makes them extremely territorial, especially when they sense any kind of danger. Bulls charge at their victims at full speed, attacking them with their strong, heavy horns. But you'll be surprised to know that these horns aren't just a powerful weapon against other animals. In fact, plenty of bulls actually end up dying because of their own horns. Bulls have nerve endings in their horns, which means that they can feel pain in case their horns are injured. But their horns also come with an insensitive part that needs to be trimmed regularly to keep the horns from growing too big. These overgrown horns can penetrate sensitive areas of the face, causing some pretty serious injuries. The horn on this bull has grown to a point where it's penetrating one of the animal's eyes, causing it to bleed. If left unremoved, the overgrown horn could have easily killed the poor animal over a painful period of time. Number 9. Sheep Weighed Down By 80 Pounds Of Wool A sheep's wool never stops growing, which is why it routinely needs to be shaved off in order to give the animals space to breathe and move freely. But this sheep seems to have an extraordinary metabolism since its fleece managed to grow up to as heavy as 80 pounds. Now in any other situation, the sheep would have died under the weight of its own wool, but somehow, this sheep managed to survive five years out in the forest all alone where her wool kept growing and growing with no one to shave it off. For five years, the poor animal had to deal with the weight of the overgrown wool that had even gotten long enough to cover the sheep's eyes, impairing his vision. When the poor animal was rescued, his fleece was found to have grown over 78 pounds, which must have been incredibly painful for the otherwise tiny sheep. It then took an hour to shave and cut all that extra fleece off, relieving the sheep of this heavy burden. Number 8. Sloths Killed By Slowness Sloths are born with 3 to 4 inch long claws and sharp teeth that they can use to defend themselves against predators. But all of that is overshadowed by their slow movements. So while sloths might be strong enough to fight off any other animal, it's usually the speed at which they attack that puts them at a huge disadvantage. The reason why sloths are so slow is that they live on a low calorie diet and as a result their metabolisms are slow with the average metabolic rate being only 40 to 45 percent of what it should be for their body weight so sloths have to be very careful not to overspend their energy which is why they move slow and stay close to their homes because of this these animals usually use camouflage as their primary defense mechanism against predators but this sloth's camouflage was no match for an eagle that came swooping in to attack the slow animal the sloth in turn swings its arm at the bird at an extremely slow speed confusing the bird Number 7. Fatal Buck Deadlock Bucks primarily use their antlers to fight not just other animals, but also enemies within their own species that might threaten their dominance. Bucks lock their antlers with one another and then use all the strength in their body to push back against their opponent. Now, these antlers might look pretty fragile, but they can actually support an entire buck's weight because they are made up of collagen that makes these structures flexible and durable, preventing them from breaking. However, in some instances, bucks can get their antlers intertwined with each other in a way that they enter a deadlock and become impossible to separate, often killing the buck since they injure themselves while trying to pull away from one another. These bucks are fighting for their lives as they are stuck to each other in the middle of a fight. Unable to free themselves, the two creatures would have possibly died in the process if the humans hadn't intervened to pull them apart. Number 6. Neglected Donkey With Fatal Hooves 
Donkey hooves are very easily overgrown and if left untrimmed, they lead to a lot of pain, leaving the poor animals unable to walk. Ideally, a donkey's hoof should be trimmed every 6 to 8 weeks to make sure that the dead hoof material is regularly being removed from the sole. If left unmaintained, these overgrown hooves can even split causing pain and soreness, which is exactly what has happened to this donkey whose hooves are now curling upwards because of how big they have gotten. The poor animal has to be given a full pedicure where the hooves are trimmed and all the dead parts are taken off, allowing the animal to walk without pain. Number 5. Honey Bee Dying After Sting Honeybees are known for their painful sting, but while a honeybee sting might cause some pretty serious reactions in humans, you'll be surprised to know that these bees actually end up killing their own selves every time they decide to use their pointy stingers on a human. The reason why this happens is that the honeybee stinger is shaped and constructed in a way that once it punctures human skin, it can't be pulled out with the bee having to go through self-amputation. Now, this process is usually too painful for any honeybee to endure, so these insects end up dying soon after. When the honeybee tries to pull its stinger out, its lower abdomen ruptures with the embedded stinger pulling out the bee's organs, leaving a gaping hole in its abdomen and killing the insect within seconds. Number 4. Turtle Almost Dies on Its Back Turtles use their shells to protect themselves from all kinds of external dangers. The shell is a part of the turtle's body that the animal just can't live without since it needs all the protection that this structure has to offer. So, when turtles flip over, essentially their entire body is then exposed to the outside world. On their backs, turtles are extremely vulnerable and most of them do not have the strength to flip themselves back over. Being placed on their backs exposes turtles to heat, leaving them unable to eat and drink, which leads to them starving to death. In fact, turtles die much quicker than you would expect them to once they are on their backs, so it's a miracle that this creature managed to flip himself over to the right side after being knocked down and landing right in the face of certain death. Number 3. Snake Feeds on Itself with the ability to stun their prey with poison and wrap their bodies around them to constrict their breathing, snakes are some of the most ruthless predators out in the wild. But these vicious reptiles don't even spare themselves when it comes to their uncontrollable hunger. It's not uncommon for snakes to go ahead and eat their own tails when they are too hungry. This usually happens when the reptiles mistake their own bodies for some kind of prey. Another reason why snakes start feeding on their own bodies is that their bodies are un unable to regulate their internal temperature. So if snakes get too hot because of the temperature outside, they tend to become disoriented and confused, ending up biting their own tails in the process. That's exactly what has happened to this snake, who just can't seem to let go of his own tail until a human agrees and forces its jaws to open and let go. Number 2. Overgrown Horns Injure Sheep Sheep are born with strong horns made out of keratin and a bony cord that is directly attached to their skull. These horns actually have blood flowing through them, making them sensitive to all kinds of pain. But a sheep's horn mostly only hurt the animal in the case that they are left to overgrow, extending way beyond their normal size. Overgrown horns can actually stab and puncture other parts of an animal's body, leading to some serious injuries if the animal isn't around humans that can help tend to the situation. This sheep's overgrown horn is now reaching its jaw, stabbing and injuring the animal to a point where the extra dead material of the horns has to be trimmed off to save the animal's life. Number 1. Wild Pig with Vampire Fangs Babirusa's pigs are one of the most unique and fascinating animals in the species with canines that never stop growing. These creatures are known for the amazing tusk that their males are born with. The male Babirusa's teeth actually never stop growing throughout their lifetime. But here's the weird part. These teeth are way too fragile to hunt with. Not just that, but over time, they also start growing downwards and then rotate to come all the way back to the top of the snout, penetrating the animal's own skin and then its skull, bringing the Babirusa's life to a sudden end.
All right, comment down below what you want to see next. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Wildly for more. See you in the next one.